In this tutorial, we will be looking at the exponent 0. What happens when the exponent is 0? Let's take a look at a few quick examples. 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. 1,999 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. A duck to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, maybe not this one. Now, you are probably wondering why anything to the power of 0 equals 1. Let's take a look at a different example. 3 to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 3. Remember, 3 to the power of 3 equals 27. Therefore, this is equal to 27 over 27, which is equal to 1. Right now, you are probably wondering what this has to do with a zero exponent, though. Let's take a look at this again, but work it through a little differently. So we are back to having 3 to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 3. You can now subtract the denominator exponent from the numerator, ex numerator exponent to solve. So you will have 3 to the power of 3 minus 3. This equals 3 to the power of 0, and since we showed above that 3 to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 3 equals 1, this must 2, which means 3 to the power of 0 equals 1. Looking at these two examples, we see that while we worked through the problem differently each time, they both came to the same answer. This brings us to the following exponent law x to the power of 0 equals 1. x is used to represent any number. We have shown that a number to the power of 0 equals 1. Here we will look at some different examples. 5 to the power of 0 equals 1. Negative 5 to the power of 0 equals negative 1. If you are looking at this and wondering why the answer is not 1, the zero exponent is only attached to the five. Let's look at a very similar question now. Bracket negative five bracket to the power of zero. Here the exponent is applied to everything in the brackets which means the answer is one. Let's look at another example using brackets. Three multiplied by two subtract one in brackets to the power of 0. As we said before, the power of 0 applies to everything in the brackets and so the answer is still 1. If you prefer, we can combine everything in the brackets first. Now we have 5 to the power of 0 which equals 1. Let's look at two more quick examples. 2a to the power of 0. Take a moment to decide what the answer should be. And the answer is 2. Are you wondering why? Well, let's break it down a little bit. 2a to the power of 0. The 0 exponent is only being applied to the a. a to the power of 0 equals 1, so now we have 2 multiplying 1 instead of a, which gives us an answer of 2. The last example we will look at is when a zero exponent is used as part of a fraction. 3 over 3 to the power of 0. We now have 3 over 1 because 3 to the power of 0 equals 1 and therefore 3 over 1 equals 3. In this lesson you learned about the zero exponent. You learned the exponent law x to the power of 0 equals 1, and that you can replace x with any number or numbers in brackets, and it will equal 1 when it is to the power of 0.